Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, and if you're interested, check out my other videos. As you read by the title, this topic is 5 things that I want in DBOG to be added. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing that I would like is color presets. It's really simple, but... So basically, when you have an outfit in DBOG, when you have those colors, those set colors, those colors transfer to whatever outfit you have, and I'll have a clip playing to show it, like what I'm talking about. Simply, what I want is like when you make those colors, instead of having to switch the colors if you switch it to another outfit, you can just press save color presets so that way those colors like are for that specific outfit. So, let me give an example. If I'm wearing my Goku gi, right, I have my orange, my uh, blue, and my red for the boots and everything, and then I switch to a Vegeta armor, which is blue, white, and gold. If I press save color presets for the Goku gi, those specifically save. On the Goku Gi, and they wouldn't transfer to the Vegeta one. Basically, I want to lose those colors when I when I switch those colors to the Vegeta colors. If that makes sense. Um, the second thing I would like is for instant transmission to work. Like, obviously, instant transmission is going to be added. I'm assuming it's going to be in the boost. Like, hopefully, but I don't want it to just be like a transformation thing, like all the other games. Um, I think it should work. I think. Well, first off, you should only be able to do it in, in combat mode. Or outside of combat mode, so that way people don't like cheese when they're losing a fight and just like leave with, it, with instant transmission. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in combat mode, I don't know. I don't want to make it too broken, but maybe like they can make it like, like work as a counter because we see in Dragon Ball Super during like multiple times during the Goku Black arc and the Terminator Power arc, Goku uses it to like counter an attack or um, even as an evasive too. It could work as an evasive. Either one of those would be cool. I, I can understand if you'd only do like. I think it'd be too broken if it, if it was if it could work both as a counter and an evasive so i would just make it as an evasive but you know something's cool to spice it up because you know all the other gbog or all the other dragon ball games what they do is they just you know click here and that's where you're, you'll teleport or type this person's name in and that's where you're gonna go just something to spice it up you know what i'm saying another thing i would like about instant transmission is instead of just being able to teleport yourself somewhere like if you have a friend or just a random person you, like if you have instant transmission uh, clicked on, selected, you can click on the person, and then a GUI will pop up or GUI will pop up, and it'll like ask them, "Do you want to teleport with this person?" Because we see in Dragon Ball Z and Super, Goku has the ability to teleport multiple people with him as long as they're touching him. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe like two people max, three people max. So it's not like you know a little absurd. My third re thing, that, thing that I want in DBOG would be damage close over time. Now, I didn't play DBOR, I wish I did, but I know that there was damage close over time, but maybe like, just like, an, you know, just a simple option setting, where if, maybe like when you're at yellow, or no, maybe when you're like, lime green health, there are a few scratches on you, and then yellow health, your shirt's ripped off, not completely, it's like the undershirt, if you have the, for example, if you have the Goku thing, your undershirt will be showing, and then maybe red health, like blood scratches, and your, like, all your shirt's ripped off, and you got a little rips on your pants or something like that. Something to be cool. Like, uh, if you get, like, hit by a beam, when you come out of that beam, you, you know, you're going to be damaged a little bit. So just something to, like, more immersion, you know what I'm saying? The fourth thing, my fourth, which this one kind of, it kind of okay, well, there's two. But these ones kind of combine into one. But there's a form, a form rework and mastery re rework. But I'm just going to combine these into one. So for forms, as it is how it is in DBOG right now, is you get your form, it's not it's unmastered, and there's a drain on your transformation bar, right? Oh, <clears throat> but then you got a master for you to like stay in it forever. What I would do for forms is first off, in Dragon Ball Z, I think one thing a common misconception people have about forms, at least in DBOG, is that once it's mastered, that means they can basically stay in it forever and there's no drain. That's not the case. For example. Take Cell Saga Goku when he goes up and powers up to full power Super Saiyan, right? He still has drain on him, it just gets significantly less. Like when he loses that fight, Cell literally points out, Goku, I can see that you're losing you're losing a key and stamina is leaking out of you, and Goku knows, which is why he gives up. You can watch the fight over, it literally happens. 
Same with Super Saiyan 2. They don't, they can't just stay in it forever. Currently in Dragon Ball Super, they could probably stay in it for a really long time, but they can't stay in it forever. You know, so yeah, there's that. So I'd like it so for the form from here on out to not be 100% masterful because I feel like it's just boring. I want a form to feel like a form, not just like a new base form when I master it. And then that goes in hand with mastery too because mastery, the way to do it is pretty boring in the game. And you just punch the person, punch an NPC or your friend and then get it to uh, the fourth tier and then you have no dream. What I would do is first off, if it's Kaioken, Kaioken, I think that's actually, I think Kaioken should work in Gravity Chamber as well. So maybe like, there's this game Dragon Ball Final Remastered where they have like this, these button inputs that you do, where it's like Q plus E or E plus E or E plus Q or Q plus Q. It's like, and you do like push-ups every time you get the button input uh, right, the button input right. And, but the more you do it, your health drains. And then you can just keep, you can eat so that way your health goes back up and you can keep training. So like an option in the gravity chamber where there's that for if you're trying to master form. And then you have what we already have with the bots and everything, which is for XP. So a mode for form mastery and a mode for XP. I think that would be cool. And um, when you master it, I think, I don't really need this, but I think it would be maybe just, it was just something that popped in my head. Maybe when you master a form, there's a slight boost. So it's level 200 forms are super saiyan. That's a uh, two times boost. So maybe they can make it like, once you master it completely, it's a 2.25 boost or if it's super saiyan two or all the other level 300 forms, it's a 2.6 boost or something, like 2.55, something. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what I think that they could do to just make it like cooler, if you know what I'm saying. And another thing they could do for mastery is in the other world, like mini arc, where Goku's dead after Cell Saga, which isn't canon, but because there's already uncanon stuff that's in the game, I think it'd be cool. There's a okay, there's a scene in the arc where um, he's at King Kai's planet, and basically King Kai is like flexing Goku's strength to the other Kai, and Goku's training with these weights on. He's like punching and everything, and I think they're like 50 tons or something like that. I don't know how much it was. I have to check, but then. So, you know, King Kai's flexing, and then he's like, Goku, go Super Saiyan, and the other Kai's, like, amazed. So, I think it'd be cool if, like, what you could do is when you're in Otherworld or something like that, you could buy, or any other map, if either maybe during quests, you could get little pieces of, like, uh, weights, and you could craft it into a weight, and then you could train. Like, maybe there's, like, times 10 weight, uh, tons, 5, to, uh, five tons, 50 tons, etc. Or you can just buy it with Zen. Either way, you can craft it, or you can buy it. I know this is acting a bit much for a dragon or for a Roblox game, but I just think it would be just be cool for forms to not be so boring and just feel another base form. Say, oh well, just because Goku didn't master Super Saiyan 3 doesn't mean it's not possible. Well, Goku and Vegeta are literally prime Saiyans. They're training with an Angel Whis. They're training with Beerus occasionally. They always surpass their limits. Goku goes into the tournament, masters Ultra Instinct, makes all the gods, including Belmod, the one that was clowning him the most throughout the tournament, and doubted him. A literal clown where I'm talking about, Belmont. He stood up for him. And then Goku's had Super Saiyan 3 for over a decade. Like I said, he's training with Whis, etc. And he didn't master Super Saiyan 3. So I feel like that just tells you that, yeah, it's not possible to master it. But I'm not trying to belittle his opinion at all. That's just my opinion. And yeah, that's basically all I got for this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just give me some criticism so that way I can improve upon it in the future, you know? Um, I'm new to this talking with my voice thing. I'm trying to get better at it. But... Other than that, yeah, that's all I got, and uh, peace out.